Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is April 9th, 2020. And we're doing a live stream on investing in personal finance. Hello, hello, Spider-Man. How are you doing? Open discussion. Let's see where the conversation takes us. And there is a lot going on. And there's a lot to talk about. And uh, there is a lot to be said, of course. And uh, if you know my work, you know I've written a fair bit about this. And we've had a few live stream open discussions on this. We have a personal finance playlist on YouTube. We put out math videos on this and whatnot. Welcome everyone, for sure, for sure. Dramatu, hello, hello, how are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna give a little intro to the people that are gonna be watching this after the fact. Um, when, uh, you know, most likely this is gonna be loaded on YouTube and BitChute on April 10th, tomorrow. Okay, because we have to hold off 24 hours before we can load anything on. Hello, Swiss, how are you doing? Uh, for those of you that are here, that are gonna be watching this video after it's been loaded on other platforms, we are sharing information on Patreon. That's where I'm sharing most of uh, what we're talking about, where we're going, uploading all the videos, announcing all the live streams, and slowly we're gonna be building our math curriculum on there. I've already started writing a little bit to put the modules together. Okay, evening, Twitching Jason, how are you doing? Chichonians, Martin, how's life? You are awake, you said you were gonna be awake. Thoughts on cannabis legalization? Uh, I'm all for it. I'm, I'm for ending all prohibition. King Louis, thank you very much for the bits. I, I don't believe in prohibition. I think prohibition should end on every level, okay? It's not just cannabis, everything, okay? Government doesn't have or corporations have the business, uh, have the right to be in our business. Air Man, Munch, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Actually, it's still yesterday for me. It's still yesterday for you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You haven't gone to sleep. <laughs> nice. So we're on Patreon, okay? And we are live streaming on Twitch. Those of you on Twitch, you already know we're live streaming on Twitch. Uh, those of you watching this video on another platform, if you want to catch these things live and participate in the chat live. On YouTube, I am premiering these things, so I am live on YouTube when, so far for a lot of the videos, I'm there live. I'm not sure if I can keep that pace, but I'll try my best. Okay. We're also on the platforms that we're sharing. King, thank you very much here for the personal finance. I think it's pretty obvious. Thank you very much, uh, King Louis. Appreciate the bits. Uh, we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Twitter, Gab, Minds, VK, and Ello. Okay. You will find the links in the description of this video. And I am active on all of them if you want to share, link, whatever it is. Okay. And we are uploading these things to YouTube and BitChute okay thank you so much for the bits yeah it's a bit party it's a bit party we are uploading this to youtube and bitshoot everything to you uh to bitshoot and right now almost everything to youtube okay uh and we just recently got accepted for youtube channel membership so one way you can also support this project is by joining youtube's uh, membership okay as well as becoming a member or using bits uh, as Kong is using through Twitch and supporting this work through Patreon if you do like what we're doing here. Okay. Aside from that, we are in times of a pandemic. Uh, physical distancing will make sure that your healthcare systems are not overwhelmed. So your healthcare workers will be able to take care of everyone that needs to be taken care of. And we should abide by the suggestions and 
keep that physical distance, not the social distance, as we've talked about before. This is very social what we are doing, but keep that distance so we do not overwhelm them, right? Uh, they're putting their lives on the line, their health on the line, and uh, they would appreciate our help, okay? Aside from that, welcome to the chat. Uh, welcome to the live stream. And we're going to talk about economics and personal finance. And this is huge, huge, huge. And just to let you know, I love the topic of economics, personal finance, investing. Really, it's the driving force of politics, right? I hear Sweden's numbers are dropping. I heard they're going up, Martin. I haven't, two days ago, I heard they were going up. Um, and I heard that they were bringing in physical distancing stuff. Uh, it might have changed the last uh, two, three days. I got three days maybe. As soon as we finished the COVID, no, COVID stream, uh, I stopped. Uh, I took a little break from following the... I, I haven't updated my table, right? I needed a little break from crunching those numbers, right? So last time I checked it, I guess we did the COVID stream a week ago or so. We'll see where it goes. Numbers are dropping. Uh, certain places stabilizing we'll see if a second wave comes in or not uh, if this thing isn't over yet or it might be completely done right and this is the last wave of it we'll see what happens we'll see what happens we'll keep track of it um, just regarding the new york state lottery is still running <laughs> witnessed a crowd of people waiting to buy tickets ridiculous dragons ridiculous right absurd absurd right it our complete economic system um, is a joke in large part right and let me give you i'm going to link up the chat to an article i wrote regarding economics in 2014 i called it uh, i wrote this in it's six years ago almost to the day right um, a couple of weeks off uh, I wrote this on March 24th, 2014, and I called it the next phase of the economic collapse has begun. Be prepared. I'm short the market. Here's why, right? Now, since that time, I'll tell you what the, we'll do the Dow Jones, right? The Dow Jones at that period on March 24th, on March 2014, was sitting around 16,500, right? And in that six years, until a month ago, it almost doubled. It went up to almost 30,000, right? Wow, wow, wow. And then the last month, the Dow Jones dropped down to 18,500, right? So timing matters, of course, right? Uh, but in this article, there is, uh, I've shared a fair bit of information. I'm just going to check the chat, make sure I'm not missing anything. But I shared a fair bit of information. Wow. Imagine buying a lottery ticket during a pandemic. Maybe they think their odds of winning are better because there's less people buying. They don't realize people's odds of winning is just the odds of the lottery, not how many people are participating in it, right? It's really a stupid people's tax, yeah. Did you guys hear that Korea's reporting uh, cure people are becoming inf reinfected? Here's the kicker, right? And people that didn't infect, the testing is problematic, Twitching Jason, right? So we're, we're seeing things flare up again, flaring up in China because they're saying they're getting it from visitors from uh, North America. New York cases were supposed to be, um, they weren't the ones that were coming in from China, from genetic, whatever it is they're testing, they're ones coming from you. It's all over the place, all over the place. I have been obsessed about the daily numbers. Yeah, Martin, I was until the last stream, right? That's bad news, very, very bad. Some people say it may become seasonal. I think it's gonna become seasonal personally, right? And this thing is very much economics related, right? I'm gonna read you the first two paragraphs of this article that I wrote, right? And I'm gonna read you the last two paragraphs, which are the final thoughts of this article that I wrote. And I'll have the link in the description of this video if you're watching this on BitChute or YouTube, okay? 
So the title of this article was the next phase of the economic class has begun. Be prepared in short. I'm short the market. Here's why. Right. And then there's a couple of italics I wrote here in notes. Consider the following the introduction to economics on this site, and it will be the last in-depth discussion regarding the markets that we have we that we have here for quite some time because I was sort of done writing articles i was wanted to get into the videos and live streaming all this jazz right and focus on the mathematics and then i did a little update saying also see the mathematics of economics for additional discussion on economics and we do i've had i've got two playlists really there's a mathematics of economics where we're talking about just the economics our economic system is set up as some of the things related there and that's linked up with personal finance and so we do have a personal finance playlist you'll find the personal finance videos on BitChute um, and on YouTube they're in a playlist and there is on our website there's a mathematics account I was just giving you that in info right here's the first two paragraphs I wrote on this article since I know there are a few regular readers on this site that I have been here for from the beginning before moving on to this year's work on mathematics, I wanted to put out a summary piece on the economy. I believe we are about to witness the next phase of the so-called economic crisis kick in. So here's my perspective below in point form and using my big brush. Here's where I come from and what I see. Okay, and I broke this down into categories, right? Introduction, disclaimer, five economic principles, the business of war, interest rates, and the Nortel effect, trading revenue drops, margin debt hits record high, US tech companies in trouble, final thoughts, right? I'm just going to read what I wrote in final thoughts. And the opening paragraph I had here is, since I know there are a few regular readers on this site that have been here from the beginning, because I, will, I went on Blogspot, I believe, in 2010, but I was blogging since 2006, right? And I wrote a fair bit before the 2008 financial collapse, warning people that, you know, the poop was about to hit the fan, right? And there were a lot of people that were following me specifically for the economics from that period that realized we were sort of predicting what was going to happen in 2008. We didn't, well, we were predicting that things were going to take a serious dive right and people wanted me to give my perspective on what's going on regarding the economy in 2014 so i put this thing together okay now we're going to go down to the final thoughts i'm going to read you the last two paragraph i wrote okay what are thoughts about the tourism industry and how much will be affected uh, i'll give you my perspective on this as soon as i read this these two paragraphs and these two paragraphs are my basic thesis on what I think our current economic system is okay and how I have modeled my own personal finances my economics the way I invest my funds my energy my money okay my resources into my way of being and my concept of what I think our current economic system should be like which governs really our political system okay what you think about the Royal Caribbean stock? <laughs> Funny. What's your take on putting 80% of my savings in the current stock market while it's still on sale? You think it's still on sale, do you? Is that what you think? Uh, nor, uh, <laughs> nor, Northland Travis Tra Legacy. I'm gonna call you Legacy. That's easier, easier, <laughs> easier said. Nicholas, how are you doing? Uh, couldn't sleep uh the senior stream happy days happy days nicholas i hope i hope uh, we can we can lull you to to sleep so you can get some shut eye and have sweet dreams compared to six months ago is it on sale is it on sale call me harden <laughs> my main is harden oh your main is, your name is harden okay harden i'm gonna call you harden this is my meme account okay awesome harden thank you for letting me know by the way if i forget because it's the first time i'm seeing your name uh, remind me again okay there's a lot of names I'm juggling in my head look at the price yeah I I look at that stuff here's the two paragraphs I looked at uh, I wrote on my final thoughts okay I'm just gonna read you these two and then I'm gonna go back to the chat oops sorry gang uh, final thoughts there are numerous other reasons why I'm short the market 
from fake government data to peak resources, from rise in human migration due to extreme climate to rising mistrust of the public in the markets and the banking institutions, from the war, uh, war on information to market technicals to the expanding wars. But I won't bother getting into those and other reasons at this time. I just thought it prudent to officially state my position. The present economic crisis that is enveloping the world is brilliant and frightening. A rapidly changing spectacular play unfolding in real time, so encompassing that it will affect every species on this planet. Unfortunately, many still continue to believe that our centralized governments will be able to prevent a global economic meltdown. I don't think they will, and I don't think we should allow them to, since under their stewardship, we are guaranteed misery. Okay, that was the last two paragraph I wrote on that article. And here, I'm going to link it up in the chat again. And now I'm going to go back to the chat and just catch up and give you guys my perspective on whatever you guys want to know. And, uh, you know, open discussion. Uh, I'm going to read more things that are directed towards me so if you guys are having discussions between yourselves go crazy awesome right if there's anything you want me to read just say chicho and i'll read it up just in case we get overwhelmed with chat going through uh if i miss any questions and if i jump and i scroll down post your questions again or your comments or anything you want me to uh, pay attention to and uh i will okay as far as uh we're absolutely bull trap right now the markets are nuts yeah if you're a trader to it's a trader's dream right i mentioned six months ago even that if i was in the markets i would have been a hundred percent puts right for the last year basically since we started talking about economics and stuff like this i said i'd be a hundred percent puts there's no like i wouldn't i wouldn't have been long on anything right just a trader hundred percent puts i would have bought a month out three months out and six months out i would have been rolling that through right you wouldn't go all in in one period you just roll it through as soon as a a month uh, uh strike ends right in the three months when the three months said i would have done another three months let the six months head if that ended would have done another six months and just roll it right if you did that you would have been sitting pretty damn sweet right now right and about a couple of weeks ago i mentioned that if i was in the markets if i was a trader if i was interested in participating in the system right because i do track it i've been tracking the markets for 20 years okay really i track the stock market i've been tracking the markets and reading financial stuff for 20 years uh, actively daily okay uh about two weeks ago when the markets went down i said i wouldn't buy into everything but there are certain things if i was interested in the system there are certain things that were on sale right uh, but i'm not interested in participating in the system and the market has already popped up 30 percent since hitting the Badoosh. so is this a dead cat bounce of a few trillion dollars going to the markets or is this basically the federal government's right the federal government in the united states and other markets are going to do it the same just basically taking taxpayer money and supporting the stock market basically supporting the oligarchs aristocrats technocrats dictators <laughs> whatever you want to call a centralized power capital right if you're interested in participating in the system your choice your life right uh, it takes energy it takes time it takes a little bit of your soul right and it doesn't do anything on the long term to stabilize your societies your countries your families or anything on that level this is just a trader's dream right if you want to trade you go crazy right but if we're talking about investing personal finance what is it that you want to put your money into what is it you want to put your energy into what type of investment are you making are you making an investment that your centralized education systems have told you to do programmed you to do which is basically the same type of uh, 
same type of philosophy that says you should not be an active consumer of information you should only be a passive consumer of information basically you just swallow what they shove down your throat right or are you going to be active are you going to think about the future right what type of investment are you going to make are you are you the type of person that wants to make an investment where you have extra money you have no time energy intelligence understanding knowledge of mathematics that you need to take this money and give it to someone so they can invest it for you to play with your sweat and tears and hard work and your sacrifice so you can participate in the system and look at these charts every now and then go oh look my 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 net worth my net worth is going up if that's the type of investment you want to do investment you want to do sure you can do that right uh but that's 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 a fictitious thing that's going through until you liquidate right because those things that we saw in a month can go boom, right drop like a rock okay or are you a type of investor that realizes that what you want to invest in is yourself your family your knowledge your well-being the well-being of your community you want something stable right so future generations don't have to go through these cycles of insanity where when things come down a certain part the only way for them to come up again based on the centralized power the only thing that they can do as a last resort is either complete deflation of devaluation of the currency followed by war so the war cycle kicks in what is it you want to invest in that is that is the question at play right now because if you're talking about the markets that is not an investment in your future that is about trading okay that's my 10 minute rant on the subject right just preemptively answering some question that might be popping up okay i'm scrolling all the way down chicho i want to invest 10 10k martin where where do you want to invest 10k invest in the power word not the amount invest the power 10k damn i only put in like 2k uh i am broke why are you broke uh harden and martin what do you want to invest in really do you want to trade are you interested in playing the or are you going to be taking the money and parking it somewhere and letting it ride right and is there any thing that you will not participate in all i'm saying is we won't have prices like these until another recession i disagree okay you think they're on sale right now I don't think things are on sale right now not everything these are the weeks you need to invest in if you're willing to wait for three plus years on a stock market to go up I disagree the stock market three years from now could be lower than what it is now okay so if you have a three-year outlook then sure look into some companies disruptive innovations that are coming up right some of the leaders in their field some of the monopolies where government has been passing laws to kill family businesses to kill small businesses put your money in the large corporation and let it ride if you want if you think that's the way it's going to play out right but right now it's a flip of a coin if the market is going to be up in three years or down in three years okay it's not guaranteed right now even though they've pumped in another four six trillion dollars into the markets go into retail groups they're all super cheap retail retail dude no i would not be investing in retail fascinating take yeah i've never considered it like that twitching jason because i'm i'm a new grad and i'm having my first big boy job are you awesome you what you can do first of all harden here's one thing you got to realize about real investing timing matters so you're saying it's a great time to buy and it also matters that you realize you really don't want to go all in if you're doing investing you don't go all in in one shot boom right that's not investing that's gambling that's trading right so if you think things are cheap then 
diversification is a good idea first of all there are you only said you only got 2k so if you got 2k that's that's chump change man like drop it into maximum two stocks right pick two stocks that you think or two sectors that you think are going to do well for the next three years and walk away and look at your time frame but check on it right if it goes up 50 percent, i'd sell a quarter if it goes up another 50 percent, i'd sell another quarter so you got 50 percent riding you almost pulled out your capital let it ride all right uh so you got to do what you got to do okay i'm not sure yet an online company an online company trading versus investing trading versus investing what sector martin online company but online company doing what right right now we're seeing a serious transition in technology taking place serious shifts are happening huge 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 right so there's a lot of disruptive innovation coming online that might even be bought up with the bigger boys right there's some disruptive innovation coming online that certain you know challenging some of the establishment right but those establishments control the government so they might be passing laws to kill these smaller companies so there's a lot of things going on what kind of a bang for your buck are you looking for do you have a price target you want out or are you are you going to be riding it for the long term are you going to be riding it for three years five years ten years three years is irrelevant if you're going to be three years might as well just think one year right are you thinking one year or six months five years or ten years or is this retirement you think it's going to be around forever and let it ride right first of all narrow it down on that front your neighbors seem to be having a good time but it sounds like yeah nicholas <laughs> our neighbors uh, check this out they just recently changed as you know right if you've been around right they just recently changed the last couple of months their previous neighbor was a single mom with a kid so we didn't crank music too hard right these ones are a couple of young girls and they're they like to have a good time right so they're cranking their music so that's given us the opportunity to crank ours as well i just told them today my partners because my partner was cranking a dj doing a dj mix and they loved it they were like oh are you the dj or your partner did you? i go my partner's a dj and uh they were like oh it was fantastic music i'll go yeah 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 she's the electronics uh master she she takes care of all the electronic we listen to this amazing music and i told them i'm not hip-hop and metal they're going to be hearing that soon <laughs> so i'm going to be cranking some metal water uh something new small and has potential to grow in future martin my advice would be look into cannabis companies okay there's a couple that i was i've, I've been tracking uh there's one that hit <laughs> there's a couple of companies i i i told a couple of people i would have bought right i think i mentioned a live stream would have bought right they hit a bottom there's one of them was oil and i'm not going to invest in oil it's not going to happen but i track it i've been tracking this company for 20 years right husky energy right and there's a couple other ones i've been tracking as well it's just i'm in canada i track energy right and another one i was tracking was cannabis company it hit a bottom of 250 right it went from at the peak at the peak a year ago it was 140 dollars i started tracking it hard around 19 dollars and it went from 19 dollars down to 250 in the last month right i was like man if i had 10 grand i'd go all in <laughs> and it went up to nine dollars and you know five days ago or something and then you sell it half as soon as you double your money and let the rest right now it's like sit, sitting at like seven or something so it was a 200 200 percent return right uh sorry 300 percent return three times uh twice your money return right it was beautiful if i was trading right but look into cannabis first of all that's one thing i would recommend look into cannabis companies okay because in times of depressions one industry that, that did amazing well historically was the people that sold alcohol right during the depression period right bars and alcohol the people who are managing those you know even during the prohibition people who the underground they were making mint right we might be heading into a depression right if we're going to head into a depression alcohol might do well but there's a new thing in town which is called cannabis right so look into it i i don't recommend i can't recommend any company 
right? I have to look at their financials, their markets, who's managing them, where they're located, what some of the laws are in that area. Or do they already have established uh, trademark or patent, stupid patents? Do they already have name recognition? Do they have a, do they have a, uh, already a, uh, deals with governments that they're going to supply uh, they're going to provide them with supply. Can they pay prescriptions? All this jazz, right? All this jazz. Yes, that's very true. You have to have a 10-year outlook. It's hard to find a company that does well for long term. It's not that easy to pick. It's not that easy to pick them. I agree, right? Oof. Okay, gang. I'm going to scroll to see. Uh, Harden. Uh, I can't read that fast. You're posting a lot. So because there's a lot of chat going on, give me a discussion in, in one shot. That way I don't have to read little things. AMD. <laughs> Advanced micro devices. Uh, Harden, uh, can you give uh, some generic advice for the young ones learning to invest during this time? Generic. I, I have a lot of generic advice. Harden, if you check out my personal finance playlist on YouTube, I put out amazing videos, really. If you want, look, I toot my own horn on some of the stuff I create. Some of the stuff I create is just fun to do and stuff. Some of the stuff I put out, I'm very proud of putting out, really. Okay, check out the first five or six videos I put out in our personal finance playlist. Okay. I put a lot of time, energy, okay, into putting that content out, okay. And as far as I'm concerned, it is brilliant. It is exactly what anyone that wants to think about investing, personal finance, has to think about before really getting a nice idea of what is going on, right, and what they have to consider so there's a lot of generic advice in there okay so i rather discuss less uh generic okay i use uh to own cgc but they are risky you got to wait for a bottom cgc chicho do you listen to music when working out um right now nicholas i used to when i when i used to go to the gym 100 percent, 100 percent. i did my prep before I walk into the gym, right? And as soon as I'm walking in, music goes on, right? I make sure in general I get situated first to a certain degree, right? So because when you go into a gym, depending on the gym, some people are uh, proximity aware, some people are not, right? If you go to a gym where people are proximity aware, you can throw the headphones on, you know, when you walk through the door, right in the in the front if you go to a gym where people aren't proximity aware they're more there for uh, runway activity all right and then don't put on the headphones until you get into your routine right but yeah in in the gym i always put on music like 99 percent of the time i was listening to music okay uh, but at home i'm just doing my exercises at home now and i'll show you guys we got a live stream set up for that but i'm when i'm exercising at home right now i'm not listening to music i'm consuming information right now hardcore because i'm believe it or not i'm i'm a i'm an information junkie and i follow a lot of different types of markets and i consume a fair bit of news economic politics uh, social technology i consume a lot so i'm listening to lectures listening to audiobooks listening to articles being read to me through the computer when i'm doing my exercises um, i just find it very soothing and really very focusing for me how much have you made in the stock market if you don't mind me asking for me uh, a lot and i've lost a lot as well right I've been doing I've been like I don't I don't play the markets anymore I'm because as you know Harden if you're playing the markets right it takes time and energy and it plays with your emotions right so you have to be fully invested in the markets to do it right to do it right okay if you're gonna just 
do research and say, okay, I'm looking at this for five years, then put it in, walk away if you don't want to follow it, right? You still have to track it, really. You still have to watch it. It's foolish to put money in something and just walk away because things change, right? But unless you have like money to burn, which is okay, right? But a lot, okay, a lot. <laughs> I managed a little money for other people, did a little trading for other people as well. Uh, some thoughts on tourism companies. Okay, tourism economy, dead. Stay away from it. It, it just, it, it was a bubble. It was one of the biggest bubbles you've we've ever seen. Okay, the tourism industry, dead. Okay, and it, uh, by the way, that's generic over across the board, right? However, there will be special places where it won't be dead right for example in 2006 2007 i start saying okay the, the 2000 yeah 2006 i wrote hardcore about it i mentioned that okay the real estate bubble this is a bubble oh my god it bubble is going to blow sky high right and the real estate market just dropped through the roof in 2008 right dropped through the roof across the board except a couple of places one of them was vancouver one reason Vancouver didn't drop so hard was because the Olympics were coming in. So some people were saying, oh, Chicho, so you were wrong. The bubble didn't burst. I turned to them. I, we had, I had this discussion with people, right? I turned to them and said, what are you, crazy? The whole world real estate <laughs> economy just dropped. Some places the markets dropped like 50, 60, 70% housing prices dropped. And these people were pointing out to an anomaly that it didn't happen, right? So tourism industry as far as i'm concerned dead right however there might be sectors which will do well right restaurant industry oh, we're going to see a serious wipeout right and then you're going to see when the dust settles how who knows how long it's going to take you're going to see slowly restaurants popping up again maybe right farmers markets food industry possibly good but that's a localized system it's not a wall street system right food might do well who knows right commodities might do well to a certain degree my math class just started quadratics and now i have to learn uh that without a teacher because schools are closed captain hawk dude i got so many videos on quadratics i got to do it all online now and i'm using my tutor but online just isn't the same as in person captain hawk if, if you've seen the videos i put out the math stuff check it out man uh they're pretty good and let me know i'll uh i'll uh, i can direct you okay i'm scrolling all the way down i'm scrolling all the way down gang okay just so uh, i don't lose anything greetings dr p how are you doing i'm gonna read up as long as there's nothing confirmed 1.6 million recovered 350,000 deaths um Oh, sorry. Confirmed 1.6 million recovered, 350,000 uh, deaths, 95,000. Okay. Uh, and these are numbers that we take with a gigantic grain of salt, right? The deaths are almost 100,000 globally. Yeah. I got cucumbers tonight, salted cucumbers. Thanks, man. Will do. We just did, uh, I did a little quick intro to quadratics on the yesterday's uh, math stream that we did hmm blackberries and nuts berries and nuts amazing together right mm -hmm. rehydrates right very good should I be divesting my money into many different investments or keep in one or two? Uh, depends if it's your life savings, if you need it ASAP. Do you need it within a year or is it a long-term investment, like a le legit investment? That's what you're thinking 10 years, 5 years, or 10 years, right? What sectors are you in? Do you want to be everywhere? Do you want to be in the tourism industry? I, don't, I wouldn't recommend divesting into tourism. Um, my personal thing. 
right? It really depends what sectors, how old you are, right? Cucumber is, cucumber is amazing. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm not too salty. The reason I'm not too salty right now is because we already had a, I've consumed a lot of salt today. So I reduced the salt. By the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the bits. Okay. Appreciate them. Assyrian heritage. Armenian. Close. When are you putting on a liqueur video? We're going to do a liqueur live stream. When are we doing it? I think next week. I think we're doing it next week, Friday, maybe. Uh, we're going to do a liqueur live stream. If I don't get a, if I don't get my hands on uh, on a on vodka, if I don't make it out to the liquor store to get some vodka to top things up, we're just going to taste them. OK, <laughs> so we're just going to do taste testing. Good Friday tomorrow, good Friday tomorrow. Invest in cucumbers, maybe. Quality crunching sounds nice. <laughs> Little Vanguard. <laughs> Airlines have dropped like a rock. As a as an example, you could buy it, uh, but you would have to hold for who knows how long uh, until it recovers. Uh, so, do you think uh, Boeing is worth buying right now? What is it at? One hundred sixty dollars or so. Where three months ago was sitting at three fifty, when five years ago was sitting at sixty. And it just went down to like 85 and popped up to 170 or so. So 100% return, boom, in a week, right? 50% drop in a month, right? Two months, right? Which way is it going to go? <sighs> exciting, exciting. Oh, the U.S. government just took out multiple trillions of dollars, right, of debt, okay, to pump into Wall Street. And what they did to justify that, they spat in the population's face slapped them on the side of the head and said here here's a check for twelve hundred dollars it's in the mail it's in the mail right and here you go guys here's a few trillion where you can buy assets at cheap 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 and pay out your dividends and take out your stock you know do your stock buybacks and give your bonuses to your CEOs management and everybody's taking a cut along the ways and that's sweet and uh, how many million people got here you go Bam. checks in the mail enjoy right now be quiet go inside your house right don't speak don't come out right we're gonna save the economy whose economy are they saving are they saving your economy right I'm being hard That was my second guess. Uh, just in general, the global economy is really taking a hit from this virus. Whose economy? Um, a Captain Hawk, not my economy. My economy? My, like, I, I set myself up to divest myself from whatever they're investing in, right? For sure. You can't divest yourself fully. You can't do it in one shot, right? But I couldn't give a rat's ass as Boeing went down to a dollar right i couldn't give a rat's ass if the stock market dropped down to a thousand right will it hurt me yeah to a certain degree it will hurt me however on the short term i'm willing to take the pain so we can fix our current political economic system on the long term because if we don't fix it on this go really we had to fix it on a couple of previous goals right if we don't fix it on this go oh my you can ride it you can ride the dow to the moon right Ooh, trillions coming in but man are there going to be a lot more people being hurt on the next hit right so i'm not willing to put my future my community's future my family's future future generations future into the hands of psychopaths because they're slapping me on the side of the face with a check in the mail coming to you in a few months right while they take their trillions off on the side and deal it out to themselves right 
What is it that we want to be invested in? What, it, what do you consider investment to be? Are you just a trader or are you investing? That is the key, right? Are you into flipping or are you into investing, right? Let's make a distinction. Let's make a distinction. Martin, and yes, is a specialist insider. Oh, wait a second. Uh, seriously, I think there will be a renaissance for the old style pubs in the UK. I have an investment in a micro Martin, good investment. Really, right? I think what's going to happen right now, if there is awareness, and I'm going to do my best to make sure this, this information gets sent out as far as I can reach it. I think there's going to be investment into local community infrastructure in terms of businesses supporting the community, investing in companies, right? I think more people are going to look towards buying locally, right? Microbreweries, local farms, uh, cannabis industry, if you have a local cannabis industry, and what else, right? And what else, right? Alcohol is is a good place to be, right? Yeah, basically you're better off buying Boeing or Delta with the twelve. <laughs> it's it's fun. yeah, throw them. what twelve hundred dollars? Are you kidding me? <laughs> like that's insanity. <laughs> like oh, American citizens, does it hurt? Really, those of the United States, does it hurt? Did they kiss you before they did it? Like. Oof it must hurt man oh oh ouch ouch what are you guys gonna do about it are you gonna invest into wall street they just oh, oh you're gonna go back for more you're gonna support them you're gonna fund their ferraris you're gonna fund their vacation homes you're gonna fund their lolita expresses is that is, is is that is that what people are talking about here investing is, is you're going to invest in your future oh it's going to hurt more man the next one's going to be harder it's going to be bigger it's going to be thicker right is that what you're going to invest in wall street that's not an investment I heard Spain I heard that Spain is moving towards a permanent universal basic income. Band-aid. Dice power. That's a band-aid. UBI is a band-aid. Chicho, what do you think about the US sending citizens money directly? Band-aid, twitching Jason. Band-aid. They take trillions, they give you dollars, relative speaking, right? Not even dollars. They're throwing Trump change to the people while they take trillions. What? <laughs> Buybacks should be illegal. With government money, they should be. Government money, taxpayer money. Yeah, they held our hand as they did it. They held your hand and your face into the ground, right? leaning on you leaning and then they held you they kept you down there while their boeing came over and did what they needed to do to you right that's what just happened to the citizens of the united states of america so hard it made the 2008 financial scam at the time the largest scam in world history seem like a kiss on the cheek right to be honest i'm very uh national socialist in my thinking protect your country over all things martin protect your community over all things and i agree with you 100 percent. martin your community is your family 
right we live on a global community there's no doubt about it right we're all one species living on this pale blue dot that's Carl Sagan would say right we are all one however you cannot control you in the UK cannot control how much corruption exists in the United States or Canada or China or Russia or India or wherever you want to think about right so you can't be fully invested in the future of people living there you can only invest in your future and be an example to others right it's that saying that says don't force your opinion onto others be an example for them right live your life the way you think you should live it to the best of your abilities don't tell others how to live their lives right and be the best human being you can be and if it is legitimate it is sustainable it is a good state of being right where you're comfortable you're rational and you've built yourself a community where you have safety nets and people that care about you love you others will see this and maybe follow your example right that is the way we should influence other places in the world or other people we should take care of our communities make sure we are sustainable that we are caring right that we show kindness and empathy right and then maybe you see people coming national socialist equals nazi who said that one i think i read that from someone names categories no airman i'm in canada we're getting the same deal basically a little bit better than you all right the night is always darkest before the dawn yeah I agree it's all PR I'm fortunate enough to not have lost my job or anything I was actually laid off at the end of January and started a new job just in time before the crap hit the fan twitching Jason you're lucky right they went a little turbo in their plans but it is a good structure Ch -ch -ch. Um, air airman chicho I'm going to go now thanks for awesome test. Uh, thanks for popping in airman pleasure no it's not a good structure brotherhood between the working class uh, transcends nations and states created by our, our rulers and socialism doesn't work in just one country a VC agreed that working people just all of us we should all be together right however you have to make sure corruption doesn't exist within your community first okay it's not about making things just doing good things in your community you must also prevent bad things from happening in your community your province your state your country right for example western nations have made a ton of money not nations really western corporations have made a ton of money selling weapons to the world right Western corporations have made a ton of money, okay, bombing other nations and looting their coffers, right? Looting their gold, looting their resources, right? So why is that happening? That's happening because we're not paying attention of what's going on locally, right? What we need to do is take care of business locally where you have the most influence right have a global perspective in mind to help others to make sure you're you're investing in systems that are geared towards sustainability in a sense where we're not just destroying water supplies topsoil we're not bailing out multinational corporations we're shafting it to the citizens right we make sure that's not happening where you are right I mean it's biblical really let's what was it saying let the first man uh, that hasn't sinned through the first stone or something like this right we need to take care of business in our local communities first okay because corruption has no bounds right and we can't prevent corruption somewhere else if we're allowing corrupt people to run amok in our countries and we live in the western world and western governments western corporations western systems are some of the most corrupt 
institutions in the world it is horrendous what they are doing here right chicho do you think there was an economic crisis under underneath ready to oh yeah for sure before COVID. and if so what areas and how was the bubble popping it was popping everywhere look at the repo market a few months ago right interest rate when interest rates were, went from two percent ten percent overnight repo market which was basically uh trust in the system the economic system where banks were loaning to banks overnight or over a week period right all of a sudden banks didn't even trust each other and they were charging five times more interest than what they would have normally done it was popping everywhere right because they say our economy was strong and the market crash was because it's not they're lying protect your family love your wife and fight for your country i agree with everything you said locally not nationally locally okay there will always be somebody who is greedy and wants more and takes from others captain hawk sure of course just don't buy what they're selling what they're peddling right what's 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 some of the things that are centralized governments centralized corporations are peddling right now invest in their markets the the banks the 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 the, the what do you call it uh, the head of the cdc or whatever the banking institutions is they put out a video telling people oh don't pull your money out of the banks because there might be bank runs banks are protected we guarantee that you know we your money is safe and stuff like this sure they guarantee it right but why are they putting out that video are they do they know something that's going on is there is there a serious financial problem in the background is there that they're coming out people saying don't worry everything's okay isn't that what they did during the titanic right and some fools right that were mesmerized by the chandeliers and the and the and the hardwood floor and the m m magnificence of the ship were still playing music and dancing while the ship was going down meanwhile those who built the ship those who had first class tickets even the captain were bailing right they were bailing this, that is to a certain degree what we are seeing right now right is this is the ship gonna sink on this go no i don't think so they just pumped a whole ton of trillions of dollars into the markets again right but right now is a great time to think about how the system works and start thinking about if you really want to participate in this cycle or you want to cut your cut yourself off from the system or do you want to be invested in this system that is what we need to ask ourselves right if you don't want to be invested in this system don't don't buy what those greedy sobs are selling right if these people are selling you lavish vacations somewhere don't do it if walt disney is coming out and saying they need to extend copyright laws more where stuff is not going to come into the public domain for another 25 years which was basically the new nafta agreement coming into play where information patents copyright is not going to come into the public domain for another couple of decades because hollywood and the pharmaceutical industries and technology companies don't want these patents these these <laughs> this information to become part of the public domain because they don't want people to have this power right why are we investing in that right they come to you and say i'll give you a ferrari to have trust in your community don't give them trust right they they come out and dangle riches in front of you walk away right they come out and say look at boeing stock Look at Boeing stock is really cheap. It's sitting at 150, 60 dollars right now. Buy it. It's a great opportunity to buy. Don't buy it, right? Disney comes out and says, "We got Disney Plus. Give us ten dollars. I don't know how much is ten dollars a month to feed your children poison. Don't do it, 
Why? Right? Why? Don't buy what they're selling. Okay? Period. It's hard to do. It takes years to be able to bypass their propaganda, bypass their safety mechanisms. Right? Why are they putting blockers on? Why are they passing laws that information will not be available to the public for another 25 years because of trade agreements? Who are those trade agreements for? Why have copyright laws gone from seven years, 100 years ago, right, to 14 years to 200 years? What is this insanity? Are we going to invest in them? I'm scrolling down, guys. Nicholas, thank you for taking care of business. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. I'm going on rants right now. <laughs> thank you, Nicholas. I love my country a lot. Okay. I will probably join the armed forces because I like my way of life and I want my kids to have it too. Captain Hawk. We 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 have people who are who are in the military that come on to chat. But I can honestly tell you the military is not no western military is there to protect your way of life. They're they're there to protect the corporations. Okay. Captain Hawk anybody that wants to join the military first book you should be reading and literally the only book you should be reading before you make a decision is general smetley butler's war is a racket and it is it is available for free online and we did a reading of the whole book asmr soft-spoken reading okay read that book and it is your life once you read that book if you still want to join the military by all means it's your life right that's fair i would just like to say that you probably shouldn't read it with the nazi thing <laughs> captain hog uh, read it with the nazi thing i don't know the rants are what we come for the rants are what you come for the bane of existence thank you for the follows gang appreciate it and the subs is our martin what i'm really saying talking to vc what i'm really saying is our current system is based on that history maybe it's time for something new maybe it's time for something new that's fair i would just like that that, that, that war if i if i said on accidentally red national what's it called socialist whatever it is those words don't mean crap to me right captain hawk i i don't know if i if your comment is towards me or someone else war where the only winning move is not to play yeah as as uh bruce springs bruce springsteen would say i think he was um it was a bob marley song war what is it good for right what do you think about and what's the black sabbath uh war pigs the generals uh, oh man i forgot my black sabbath lyrics bs bs how are you doing what do you think about our current educational system i think it's horrendous i've heard it many times that it's so outdated yet those in position are not taking the required action i've heard some opinions that this is because the educational system is run by one side with one uh, political agenda uh just like when I was, bs i agree with you 100 we've talked a lot about the education system and we're doing a stream on education i believe maybe tomorrow in in the next week anyway i think tomorrow we're doing a live stream on education and i've given my opinion about the education system right now there's a lot of big corporations centralizing power in education but what we've seen with what's going on with the physical distancing right now all these education systems central education systems they're scrambling right now to be able to educate indoctrinate the kids right well for me i've been in involved in education for 20 years 
and I've never even I think once at the beginning I considered working for a centralized institution and that was like a you know one second thought more than one second I looked into it how much it cost and what it was involved it was like you guys got to be out of your mind right it took me a week to realize I didn't want to be there so for 20 years I've been educating kids on physics and mathematics and statistics right and I wouldn't change it for the world so there's a lot of disruptive innovation available for us not to consume their BS right like right now if there are any parents if you become a parent if you think the centralized indoctrination centers are educating your kids you gotta you you gotta be out of your mind you gotta be proactive in education educating your kids right you need to be proactive because what's gonna happen is as soon as you become proactive in educating your kids future generations right then you're gonna be educating yourself and it has a bang right two-time effect not only are you going to be making sure the proper information goes to your kids you're also going to learn how the system works you're going to be teaching and the best way to learn is to teach and once people start teaching math english politics economics geography once people start doing this they're gonna reprogram themselves because there's multiple generations that, that have been indoctrinated throughout history we need to do a complete shift okay thank you spider-man what did i miss <laughs> chicho rents different con convo uh, oh yeah i don't i don't get people right that was about an earlier conversation that got deleted i think okay awesome captain hawk thanks for letting me know and nicholas thanks for killing it All right i'm not interested in the mindless right gathered in their masses just like which is yeah gathered in their masses just like witches and black masses and nina simone did a version of it right fantastic i think anyway i used to think that the u.s being overseas in every country was normal and fighting wars around the world was normal but in 2020 it's actually very weird to be still doing so insanity right and people don't question it for some reason well more people are questioning it now that's the lyric after generals nice thank you very much dark rule ruler whiz black sabbath rocks right with all this talk about the corruption what can we the people do on a local and national level to ch change the massive widespread corruption first thing is boycott corporations stop buying from those giant mega corporations if you can help it right really that's one of the things you can do start buying local food from local farmers local bakeries right decentralize the consumption of food that's the first thing we can do right that's huge instead of going to walmart to buy stuff go to a local grocery store to buy stuff don't go to walmart's don't go to whole foods is don't go to costco's don't i know they're cheap right I, i've even bought from costco right but if we can help it we buy local we buy local right it takes time it's not an overnight event right my friends with kids are having a hard time with homeschooling martin as they should be right because they were also indoctrinated into in this education system right now right like for me i can tell you this the students i work with the ones where their parents are proactive with their kids education it's a world of difference as with the ones that aren't huge huge the progression of the kids how they consume and learn the material is so much faster than the ones that don't right it's huge i hope they're learning a lesson martin i hope they're learning in that lesson because it's an investment in their future right like a lot of parents you know in our current economic system they have to go get jobs both of them go work to pay the house mortgage all this stuff all this stuff and that they let the system educate their children right and what happens in the short term they might be getting ahead but in the long term they're losing 
why they're losing is because their kids are graduating without being prepared to go into the workforce to be free thinking human beings to be able to maintain their own lives right and that becomes a burden on the parents in the long run so in the long run it costs them a lot more they should lower their standard of living for the short term right reduce their expenses and maybe work part-time or take i know a lot of people can't right but you work towards it take a little bit of time and invest into their kids education that has way higher dividends than any damn stock you could buy really it doesn't make a difference what type of stock you invest in if your kids grow up to be dumb dumbs the cost of that will surpass the cost of whatever returns you would have had really on any stocks you would have had okay it's just not worth it invest in something solid okay Da, da, da. my friends with kids uh, uh chicho is it worth it to get involved with local governments or should we consider forming associates outside of government to make changes i i haven't gone to the government level right i work in communities right i don't like i'm not well suited for bureaucracy bureaucracy i consider bureaucracy to be fascism right especially the type of bureaucracy we have at present okay it's insane right so i can't work within the system i have to work on the periphery right so i work with communities different people i basically like for me i'm a i'm very i work with people i've done a lot of projects with people i work well with people right but in a non-structured kind of way i need to do what i need to do right uh so i can't do that but i know people that can't and i support them that do right so slowly what you can do is work and form communities and if you know someone who is going to represent the community properly and they're interested in running for government then by all means put your full force behind that and put your representatives in power right hold them accountable hold them accountable hold them accountable hold them accountable very very important very very important right once you go down that route is a little bit extra work to hold them accountable okay very very important make sure they are transparent and you know exactly what's going on okay so no i i don't i think it's worth it it's just you have to get the right people in place right and it's going to be a slow progression but you could do a lot locally you could pass laws and put hurdles in front of major corporations multinationals where they won't be able to come into your community and mess you up right you could work them over and then you could do expand right and start hitting up some of the other communities right yeah it's worth it online tools for sure like people used to ask me chicho why are you doing this online too are you getting paid i'm like, no man i'm not getting paid when i was doing the videos i wasn't getting paid youtube didn't introduce monetization until the years after i started putting videos out right or a lot of well i started putting videos out in 2006 or 2007 like right off the get-go right 2005 youtube came along 2006 google bought it in 2007 i think i went hardcore on it right and people were asking me why are you doing this i go well because this is what's going to be needed in the future right you could see it going in that direction people are like oh it's just crazy you're spending i'm like okay and slowly what i've seen is exactly that online decentralization of education true education not indoctrination right so if there's any teachers we're going to do a live stream uh, discussion on education but i'll put this out there if you want to invest if you're a teacher if you're an educator if you're a parent start investing in online education platforms but decentralized right it's a great place to be it's an amazing place to be it takes a little bit of time right you got to be honest you got to be sincere okay i'm gonna scroll down gang i'm gonna scroll down 
Where are we at? Boris Johnson is feeling much better, yeah. I personally don't, I don't believe anything regarding him getting it or Prince Charles getting it and stuff. Did they? I don't know. I, I don't believe anything that comes out of that. What do I think about cryptocurrencies? I have the cryptocurrency playlist on my YouTube channel. And you'll find the videos on BitChute as well. So just do Chicho Cryptocurrency. I I share a lot of what I what I think of cryptocurrencies. Uh, and just to let you know, I was mining Bitcoin back in 2011 or so, 2010, 2011. Okay, I believe it was then. Okay. So uh, take that as you will. The masses are under complete control and the masses have complete control. Control over what? The current political economic system? They don't have control over me. Unless they come knocking down my door and drag me away, they don't have control over me, right? Unless they they digitize currency and they say, Chicho has no money. Boop, which they can. Which is one of the reasons I say no elimination of cash. Cash, if they eliminate cash in your societies, you've gone full fascist, okay? Start thinking about a way to move countries or change your political system ASAP. If your country eliminates cash, keep this in mind, if your country eliminates cash, you need to do whatever you can to make sure it is not eliminated, okay? If you see no hope that it is eliminated, stabilize your finances and seriously start looking on getting the hell out of town hate to say it but sometimes you need to run okay nitro moon how are you doing cream cream was an amazing band i hope we're talking about cream <laughs> or are we talking about uh, uh two nights ago martin <laughs> should we stop making that joke we're gonna stop making i'm gonna stop making that uh, it was a great little moment during our live stream it was fun it is etched in my mind what's more realistic crypto being fully implemented or reverting to gold standard uh, uh, it, we're not going to go to gold standard right and cryptos might become illegal governments might come in and say you can't have any of these cryptos so what's going to happen then it's going to go full black market right but are people willing to sacrifice their freedom to trade in crypto i'm guessing most people are not they might change countries lotion <laughs> it's cracking me up martin i love it right lotion time too funny cash rules everything around me Ta -ta. what time will you stream tomorrow 8 30 p.m my time again okay p pdt that's what i'm preemptively trying to do coolio yeah Hey everyone, Dolphin, how you doing? I'm fed up with the US and we can't handle four more years of Trump. Uh, Coolio, Democrats wouldn't have been different. I, I, I tell people, I ask people, what was Obama's legacy? Obama's legacy was Trump. That's how horrendous Obama was, right? The Democrats are on the same train as the, as the Republican. It's the same train. It's the Wall Street train. It's the bankers train. It's the military industrial complex train. It's Hollywood train. It's Washington DC train. They're all on the same train. It, it's, it's, it, it's not Trump. It's, it's, the whole, it's the whole package, right? I'm pretty much guaranteed to get at this point. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Any advice on investing my 8K nitro industries and such? I am thinking local businesses like agriculture, farming, or maybe even cannabis. Uh, out of those, nitro, I'm personally, cannabis would be it, right? Because we might be going into a serious downturn in the economy. And one of the things that does amazing, there is, we talked a little bit about this already early in the stream, is alcohol and now that cannabis is legal but it can't be across the board there's going to be a lot of them that don't make it 
whoa you caught my attention again laugh a lot crap what about decentralized currencies that are uh, digitized yeah wouldn't something uh, something blockchain based like Bitcoin avoid the powers that be from controlling our finances it uh, twitching Jason 100% right blockchain technology is here to stay right however there's a lot of people that have been trading cryptos right that actually filled out the forms online with their names and addresses and phone numbers and everything <laughs> trading something that was designed to be anonymous that is no longer they lost their anonymity so they lost the main feature of cryptos right now cryptos are still being traded uh, anonymously but a lot of people have been putting fiat currency in and buying cryptos and trading cryptos and cashing out so all of that from that node from the crypto going to the fiat is recorded right it's it's in the databases so if cryptos are deemed to be illegal you're going to see it all go one direction right if that happens you're going to see a serious drop in the crypto prices if that happens it might not right but keep in mind goes down that might be a good time to get online and talk on forums to see if there's any way you could get your hands on some crypto without going through a node that way you will have cryptocurrency at your disposal but now transactions must be conducted in those cryptos you cannot it is not it will no longer be a trader's market where you're going in with fiat and coming out the fiat's done severed now business can be conducted through crypto okay right now cryptos are being used as a trading mechanism it's a gambling house it's just like wall street right it's a joke sleepy waves how are you doing what about the stressful time causes our bodies to feel so uh exhausted uh feel like it's hard to operate 100 percent right now sleepy waves for sure you have to eat well really eat well at times of stress like this eat well make sure you have entertainment that you can consume that relaxes you exercise in these times right now that everybody's operating at, at a certain capacity it is ridiculously important to exercise so important to exercise that's why i set up our exercise live stream right i, I want to show you what i do okay and it's helping me out right but for me i also thrive in in this situation uh, because i like consuming information so information overload right but it's not that i'm just consuming it i'm sharing it so it's part of my lifestyle part of my business because i do this so it's not just the exercise that's keeping me sane so you need to have an out mechanism right sleepy waves if you're feeling really stressed out exercise eat well and have some form of sharing and discussing communication is key right now and meditation meditate if you need to okay i'm scrolling down guys comic books read comic books by the way i posted here let me give you the paragraph that i posted if you go to our discord okay if you go to our discord page in the economics folder i posted a paragraph took a little quote from a paragraph okay of an article um that i thought was fantastic i'm just gonna grab you the link okay uh, where is it copy link location copy link location and i'm gonna read you the paragraph right now okay and i've never read this person before that's the article now i've never been to this website before i don't know this person i came across this through a, a post on zero hedge and the zero hedge one i found because i watched the video so it's all linked right so I, anything that i link i'm not promoting anybody or anything it's just at the moment right 
and I'm, I'm up to 1,000 push-ups a day. I, my, in my youth, it was 3,000 a day. Can I reach it again? Oh my God, Martin, that's crazy. I can't do too many push-ups, man. I can do, you know what? I haven't been doing push-ups in my exercise routine. I'm not doing push-ups right now. Uh, I'm, uh, because of my wrist, I'm getting my hands into order. Okay, I'm doing uh, kitty push-ups on the wall, but uh, I'm not going to show push-ups in my routine. I talk like Trudeau. God, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, if Trudeau, if I talk like Trudeau's father, uh, thanks, he talked well. If I like talk to Trudeau Jr., uh, Trudeau Jean Sr. is rolling in his grave right now. Uh, let me read you this paragraph. Quote, okay, and this was part of an article that the person wrote. Quote, with the initiation of the Fed's complete takeover and control of the U.S. financial economy, there is now absolutely no accurate pricing discovery in the capital markets, and we have entered a period of total manipulation. In light of this, the only markets I have an interest in are those where the heavy hand of government is not involved or or only minimally involved. This leads me to rare commodities and collectibles. The public equity and debt markets are now nothing more than greater fool markets that are led by the greatest fool of all, the Fed and Congress. US capital markets rest in peace. Okay, and that article you can find the link for, I post it in chat and I'll be in our economics folder on Discord, okay. Uh, I thought that quote was fantastic. I liked it. And it feeds what I like, which is collectibles, which is collectibles, comic books and collectibles, right? Fed's power expects robust rebound post coronavirus. <laughs> Why? I can do so many push ups. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you can't buy stocks that the Feds are buying debt from. Yeah. I mean, you can. It, it might go up, right? It, it might go up. They might start giving you dividends and all this jazz. And stocks might go up above 30, down above 30, 40,000. The, the money here, look. If you bought stocks after the crash in 2008, right? It was sitting around 70, 7,300. That's it. You bought it absolute low. Went down to 7,300, right? Stocks went up to 30,000, right? So 14,000, twice your money. 21,000, three times your money. 28,000, four times your money, right? If you invested $10,000 at 7,300, right? When the Dow came down after 2008, 2007, 2008, right? If you invested ten thousand dollars, you would have pull, pulled out forty thousand dollars plus dividends, whatever that turns out to be. Let's say fifty thousand dollars, right? So ten thousand dollars twelve years ago would have netted you fifty thousand dollars, right? If you invested a hundred dollars into Bitcoin in two thousand and ten, you would have pulled out millions, right? We talked about this in our personal finance. Right. If you had invested in certain comic books during that period, you would have pulled out more. OK, if you had bought puts during the last year that I mentioned, if you bought puts, I would have been 100 percent puts on record. You can see multiple streams. I said I would have been 100 percent puts. Right. If you had bought puts at twenty nine thousand five hundred, whatever the Dow Jones was in. Right. A month ago worth ten thousand dollars and you kept on rolling it let's say over a year of buying or six months of buying your ten thousand dollars worth of puts would have dwindled down to five thousand dollars or three thousand dollars right let's say you only have three thousand dollars left over a six month period of buying puts and over six months strikes right that three thousand dollars would have netted you like like sixty thousand fifty eight I don't know what it would have been, right? Ten thousand dollars of puts if you had it, it would have netted you a couple of hundred thousand dollars. So is it a good investment to do that? It really depends, man. I don't know why I went off on that. But it, it, the markets. What was the question? Da 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 da. Did you dot dot? I lost it. Intrepid, how you doing? I just saw your name. Welcome, welcome. 
I'm going down. Julian Assange supposedly is not feeling well. He's sick. We'll see. In the next set of streams, we're going to do a Julian Assange stream. Okay. Uh, I hope it's not serious. I'm scrolling down, gang. So much money and they don't even work uh, or produce anything. Just legal theft. It is all it is. Yeah. Oodles noodles. Exactly. It's 6 a.m. here, you kid, Nicholas. 6 a.m. when you're doing modding. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thanks, brother. But I can reach that by conventional methods. I need a risky. I need a risky. Yeah, Martin. Like, like people, the returns. Like we did. By the way, in our personal finance video, we did a graph of what your rate of what your uh, return return on assets would have been over the last hundred years if you invested in uh, what the inflation was housing market stock market s p we looked at a whole bunch of measures plotted it on a semi log graph and the best investments you could have made were trading if you knew your mathematics right uh cryptocurrencies uh comic books collectibles really not comic uh, comic books represents collectibles but collectibles right yes i watched that today the the that video martin did you watch it i hope you liked i hope that's the one you're talking about or you might be talking with someone else but I, da, 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 da. how do you feel da. yeah ah nice martin was it helpful was it helpful and if you have any questions let me know man uh, I shared generic what I knew if you're gonna jump into any market I know a little about well I know a lot about the stock market if you do plan on going there even though I don't like it right you have to have your time and money and everything invested in send me a message of what it is and I'll look into it okay uh, and we can do this open we can do it on our discord economics uh, part uh, folder right so I'll give you my opinion and take it with a grain of salt. Isn't it too late to invest in crypto though? Uh, one Bitcoin is like, yeah, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't buy Bitcoin right now, right? If 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 the world eliminates cash, then yeah, I'm going to look hardcore into cryptos or some the newest one or whatever is being used a lot, right? I I don't know which one yet or which ones or new ones or go to local currencies cash only or barter system I don't know I want to leave cash for my nieces when my time is done uh, you want to leave them value uh, Martin uh, for example Martin you want to leave if you're thinking long term okay if you want to leave have something that is going to most likely be worth way more 20 years from now than it is now okay right now there are certain collectibles that have dropped in price someone posted it on a previous stream that um amazing spider-man or oh, amazing fantasy graded at five uh that's the first appearance of spider-man uh first appearance of spider-man sold uh, that was graded at cgc graded at five sold for thirty thousand dollars twenty five thousand something ridiculously low right if you can get your hands on an amazing deal on a collectible on that scale buy it park it you can take it anywhere with you okay it's almost guaranteed never to lose this well not never because they're the market's like this right but 20 years from now the odds are that's going to be worth more for example in 1994 action comics number one cgc graded at nine or 9.2 i think it was a nine sold for a record amount of one hundred forty thousand dollars in 1994 i believe okay 1992 or 1994 two years ago action comics number one at the same grade sold for three million dollars right so spider-man is on the same level as superman not on the same level but on the same level right 
So there are certain key collectibles that are very high value that are sought after that are rare. If you're going to play the markets, then you can go lower like the way I do and trade and do this. But that takes time and energy. You have to love what you do. Like for me, I love what I do, right? That's part of my life, right? I have 1,000 comics, but my oldest one is just 1950, I believe. 1950 is good. There's some night, man. If I had money, Martin, if I had money right now, right, to expend the more money that I didn't rely on, right now, I would go and buy EC Comics, okay, some of the Soti covers, okay, Soti was, uh, what's it called, uh, Seduction of the Innocence, the comics that were listed in Seduction of the Innocence, saying, corrupt. some of the severed head ones, and uh, the romance comics that are taboo, and there are some collectibles from that period that, as far as I'm concerned, are dirt cheap, right, like, thousand dollars for a soti comic with a severed head cgc graded what are you insane boom drop it right that's a better investment than wall street it doesn't pay you dividends but uh, it is a collectible the only time those will drop is uh is if society takes a belly flop right ec comics do research on this EC Comics, oops, EC Comics Pre-Code, EC Comics, that's the company, Pre-Code, uh, Horror and Romance and Sci-Fi, mm, yeah, okay, so EC Comics is the company, okay, for example, if you look at our comic book uh, reading playlist, I've read like four EC comics, I believe. Okay. They're the they're their prize. They're they're the prize of my collection. I have other ones that are on the same level, but I will never give those up. Right? I will never give those up. Collectibles, rare collectibles are sought after. The only time they're gonna go down is if our whole society like drop worth nothing. Is if our whole society crumbles okay and if that happens then what the hell are you doing holding stocks on wall street right it's watching you back video watching your back video. cool cool cucumber cucumber hydrate 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 Spider-Man, you have too many books. Me too. <laughs> Tristan, how are you doing? Doing well, Tristan. I'm going hardcore on the economic stuff because it needs to be done, right? Comics make sense. It's easier to verify if it's real compared to a signed baseball. Yeah. I don't know the sports collectible, but there are sports collectible stuff that are worth a lot, right? But I don't know that market at all. I'll be posting the comics in Discord after this. A cool pick of my short box. Nice, Spider Man. Does it make sense to max out my credit cards right now? Sleepy Waves? Uh, for what purpose? Haha, <laughs> Chicho, you have triple what I have. <laughs> nice. Depends for what purpose. If you want to max out your credit cards and go party, no. If you're gonna max out your credit cards to take a walk to invest in something that is stable for you that they can't touch right and they can't touch you can there are people who max out their cards and walk away right i don't think you should you know it's not advice to do it <laughs> but <laughs> for what purpose right hold up chichonians it's plants choice time again. Martin, that's the right thing to do. Uh, um, 
flump cgc created is the one that's uh, people have the most of so it's the first on the market so it gets a little bit premium value right but over time there's only one other that's comparable to cgc it's the c b c g b c s it's the most recent one that came out like five years ago six years ago seven eight years within the last 10 years anyway and they're good as well okay pgx no but you can book buy the books on cheap and then take them out of that and send them in to get graded again or just keep them and hope you got a good good one right as far as the credit cards if the whole society is going to go belly up then if you think that's what's going to happen go buy what you need to buy and protect yourself right i've done that before <laughs> i feel like everyone is going to file a bankruptcy so might as well invest in myself if it's investing in yourself uh sure uh, but and with credit card companies you can write write them off right uh, to a certain degree right but what what can happen if unfortunately you can't pay a certain debt you have with them you can cut a deal and pay 10 percent of it or half of it or 20 percent of it right so there's ways around that nicholas chicho has me craving cucumbers and you know, <laughs> <nice. laughs> A celery peanut butter too. C B C S. Okay, good to know. Yeah, they great Pokemon cars now. <laughs> Makes sense. It's like baseball trading cars. Yeah. I prefer CG. Yeah, many people do. All all preferences may. Many pros are. And cons. Yeah. a couple of years ago i got two pokemon jungle booster packs for 25 dollars each now now they're 130 dollars each nice nice return spooker spook uh spookers how do you uh stand on firearms you show for sure intrepid if your laws allow you to have firearms why not All right i don't have a problem with it like when people say gun control they don't they don't really mean or they don't really mean they okay what they really mean is they only want the government to have guns right that's straight road to disaster right what's your favorite movie i don't have a favorite movie i have many favorite movies it really depends on the mood like really there are so many amazing movies out there like one of my favorite movies is there will be blood it documents the birth of the oil industry and the evangelical uh christian movement from the early um 20th century from 19 eight, late 19th century early 20th century all the way up right it's brilliant the soundtrack for it is amazing it was done by radiohead uh, main guy from radiohead for the first 15 minutes it's just music plays absolutely brilliant movie that's one of my favorite movies i missed the first half of the stream so looking into alternative systems into investing such as collectibles like comic books and potentially the cannabis industry what should i look into that sleepy ways depends what else should i look into i, I really it, there's so much technology there's lots of technology coming online which is incredibly important right cannabis 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 comics are super cheap right now yeah like like people say oh the stock market is it dropped oh the comic books drop too and comic books might drop more right but they have the p possible potential of going up more to a certain degree right there's been a serious distribution of comics across the board there's certain comics you just can't get there's certain sellers i used to follow i used to buy from over the last you know i've been on ebay since 2002 they're not around anymore like they don't have any more comics to sell there's some that are sitting on warehouses of comics and they're just letting their comics be sold slowly right there's some people that just they don't sell anymore they don't have any more comics it's over right 
the inventories run out i watched they live last night what a fantastic movie more information documentary than entertainment <laughs> yeah i've watched that movie so many times more and it's a great movie love that movie how would one invest in the cannabis industry there are cannabis stocks out there like a stocks for upcoming uh companies yeah there, there are stocks that are cannabis companies there's also going to be edibles coming up so there's going to be for example the cannabis industry edibles are slowly becoming legal in canada and i think they are legal in canada to a certain degree right so there, there's going to be uh local bakeries popping up and also companies popping up that only provide edibles to their clientele right so the industry is just beginning just beginning right just beginning Chicho. we should have a better facebook presence maybe uh, i have facebook man i don't want to promote facebook martin i i've been actually thinking about deleting my facebook i detest zuckerberg right really i can't do it i can't do it i i just it, it, i know there's people like i have two facebook pages uh i don't i haven't posted anything on there for years i don't act like math in real life and 420 math they have facebook pages on there math in real life has like 1300 followers <laughs> the 420 math has a thousand followers i don't do anything on there it just people just follow right i could kick it up but it would make me feel bad i don't want to feel bad chicho let's pray pray comics go down so we can buy a bunch more for cheaper i need all spider-man so um spider-man i'm with you to a certain degree on this unless i have to sell some which is in it's, it's not a good time to sell but i might sell some just to generate some money and buy some so one thing that happens if an industry collapses right as long as you want to stay within the same industry you can sell because you're buying the same industry so the drop really doesn't affect you if you're using the same funds to buy in the same industry if you're sitting on cash sweet deal right pop 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 chop it get it all coming in right i wish there were better ipos coming out so far a lot of them have been overvalued too much hype yeah yeah edibles industry is going to boom yep spider-man huge restaurants bakeries is going to be amazing agreed 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 edibles are my favorite yeah personally and i don't like edibles i really it's very difficult however once it becomes fully legalized like my plan one of my plans is because i have we we have a company that's a food company that we we incorporated that we did a farmer's market on with the family that's still functional right at some point i'm going to get into the edibles business i i hope to anyway that's one of my plans and i've already talked to a friend that she was into it that we said once it becomes fully on we'll start it up right and we're going to do baking edibles i'll show you some of my baking we haven't done the cooking streams on baking yet but there will be right oh my god i have betrayed my chicho no martin it's just I, I detest facebook right i i i have yet you know i talk to people that are consuming information on facebook and stuff like this most of them are clueless as to what's going on in the world really i don't want to participate in that i i just want it to die i just want facebook to die just crumble right Wow, after years of watching you on YouTube, I finally got Twitch. And yours was the first channel I wanted to follow. Glad to be awesome. The fan lot. Thank you very much for coming here. I hope you're enjoying the live stream, brother. Or sister, of course, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting beast. And it's a lot of fun, right? Wow, we're coming on to two hours. Awesome. yeah welcome welcome fan lot the right uh phenotype genotype is important i think people will enjoy the one-to-one -one cbd thc it's less intense yeah cbd uh the cbd mixes and stuff like that like we're at the beginning stages of the cannabis industry like absolute beginning stages 
it's like the dot com you know the tech industry right in the 1990s this is just the beginning of the cannabis industry it's going to be huge huge humongous it's gonna the pharmaceutical industries are trying their asses off right now trying to patent things and genomes and stuff like this like what's gonna happen is people are gonna start growing its value is gonna go up right or people are gonna say hey I can grow my own so people are growing already in my part of the world right they're gonna grow their own right they're gonna share so it's what you start making with those things that is gonna be huge as well right there's a lot coming do you think COVID will accelerate legalization in certain states? Speaking about New York City, I think so because it's a cash cow, right? Regulus cannabis isn't legal. Yeah, agreed. Brother, I enjoy all your videos. Very informed. Awesome. Awesome fan. Fan lot. Awesome. I'm glad you like. I love doing this, by the way, as you can tell, right? I tried to comment at the end here, uh, but I missed the most of it. Oh, I'll always be making. We're gonna do the education tomorrow, right? I almost be making is that when we're doing it? We talked a little education today. Is that a mission? Operation Facebook Fatality. I I I want it I want it gone personally. I think has been it's been dumbing down our society. What I've seen of most people that are on Facebook that I interact with that only get their news and information on Facebook, they are playing with a handicap that is going to destroy them they are clueless as to what is happening in the world because facebook censors up the yin yang it's a bubble and it's it's i hope it doesn't continue if it continues we're screwed <laughs> like really i tell people man you're getting your information off facebook if that's the only place you're getting it get that off that platform just delete that damn thing man put half the energy you put on that into educating yourself you'll be a better human being you'll you have you'll be healthier more intelligent you'll be you you'll be better with your family friends you'll just be a better person okay i think the tricky part by the way facebook is just for corporations that's it it's just for corporations to shove crap down people's faces right people use it to get together and entertainment people to have club parties and stuff like this don't get me wrong right it is useful people are finding use for it but it is 100 percent controlled censored right we need to be on other platforms that don't censor and control so take the same thing you do on facebook and do it somewhere else right and if people that you're in like it's it's a corporate it's it's just for companies to sell crap to people that's that's it or to manipulate people i'm not interested in that i as you can tell i really detest that thing i've seen it dumb down a lot of people really i've seen i've seen it make turn people into stupid okay uh spider-man do you think we won't see federal legalization of marijuana during Trump's second term? No, Trump. Look, Trump is a tool. Uh, period. Some people say he's doing great things. Yeah, he is on certain levels. Some people say he's doing bad things. Yeah, he is on certain levels. But the only thing you need to know about Trump to know if he's a tool or not, he just sent. He just sent. What was it? One million or hundred? How many? Hundreds of thousands of masks to the IDF in Israel meanwhile nurses in the united states are going to work without protective gear he's just a tool okay he's garbage right the guy just sent masks from the united states to the israeli defense forces to the military of israel while nurses in hospitals in the united states are going without masks okay the guy's just a just garbage right Thumb. facebook owns instagram it will be here for a while 
Yeah. But Instagram is, as far as I know, like the one reason I, I don't think Facebook is going to last very long. I don't know. I don't have any students. I haven't had any students for the last five years that have been on Facebook. That's the next generation. And they're not on Instagram either. They're not on Facebook. They're not on Instagram. Those are Facebook's two main platforms, right? What's Facebook going to do? <laughs> you know, it's, it might buy other platforms that they're, these kids are on, right? But they're not able to capture the new audience, right? The, the kids aren't on Facebook. Really, the, I think it's five years ago was the last student that I had was on Facebook. They're like, Facebook? I had maybe, I had like 20% of my students were on Instagram and less and less every year, right? So, God, I hate him so much. I'm sorry. Sleepy voice, Chicho, do you think COVID will accelerate legalization in certain states? It, yes, that yes. Speaking about New York City, yes. I think it will it is a cash cow and states are bankrupt right just think about this small business is about to be decimated the states used to collect a lot of taxes off small business because they're sure as hell not collecting it from large corporations multinationals right hell the multinationals like amazon walmart they get tax breaks they get tax money to open up a shop in states right so the states provinces all around the world all around western world anyway they're going to look at ways trying to generate more money cannabis is a cash cow we've seen that through um what do you call it denver and stuff right now there's tiktok <laughs> yeah that's owned by chinese company yeah i love myspace i wonder if it's still going I think MySpace is still going. I used to have a MySpace account too. Everyone's on Twitter and TikTok. Twitter, yeah. Twitter's going to be around. Okay. And if you want to invest in a tech company, Twitter looks legit. I personally wouldn't invest in them. I don't believe in the business. They censor, right? But I'm surprised Twitter is doing so well. They're doing well because it's an easy platform to function on and there's a lot of independent voices still there but once twitter's already knocked people off right so um as soon as twitter was knocking people off big time i created minds gaps vk and elo i'm on those four platforms as well right they're at best 10 percent of what my not even less than 10 percent of what my followers are on twitter right five percent or six percent of what they are on twitter but as Twitter starts censorship, keeps on knocking more people off, people are going to go to other platforms. Rightfully so, right? Rightfully so. There's a reason that corporations created social media so they could feed our data and our words and our actions to their artificial intelligence algorithms to more closely make human obsolete. Yeah. YouTube spirals, uh, spirals you into a rabbit hole of stupidity. Yeah, it can it can vex how are you doing how's life Woo, vex is in town right on are we playing a game fun welcome welcome i'm glad i was past my youth by the time these brain stealers are yeah me too me too right expand of existence hype 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 mods raids mod raids <laughs> nice so are are you saying that certain states won't be able to collect taxes by small business right now yeah oh my god a lot of the taxes they collect is through transaction the money's dropped off the fence how much money have you spent in the last two weeks i haven't spent that much i did a buying i got food i make food at home i'm online i go for walks i don't go buy ice cream i don't like just think of the tax revenue that's dropped both federally and statewide. man state bonds and it's <laughs> the wave that they've been hit with their their finances were in worse shape than everybody's here right 
They're tax they're tax starved right now. Twitter has a gigantic illegal pornography problem that they continue to do nothing about. Read a whole article on it. Really cool. Thank you for the follows and the subs, gang. Okay. Yes, a super cute medieval city building game. And I'm all right. Still an essential worker. Nice. Essential worker, Vex. Comic books? What? Really? Are you considered essential worker? You, are you still in comic books, brother? And the game sounds fantastic. A super cute medieval city building game. Oh my god, that's fantastic. I gotta get back into gaming, man. Certain anti certain anti fragile businesses are actually doing amazing though. Yeah, agreed. And they tend to be small business. Yeah, uh, sleepy waves. My business tutoring online has picked up obviously right is this by accident hell no i've been building this i've been working over the last few years to make myself anti-fragile and that's one thing everybody should be doing here make yourself anti-fragile and the way you make yourself anti-fragile is divest from centralized economic system centralized control centralized finances centralized banking centralized work make sure you have multiple streams of revenue whatever small they are right because if this is cut you still have a little bit coming in so you can buy an apple and eat it right hey buddy dapper row how are you doing rue how are you doing anonymous chat app with so much sex space i haven't published blushed oh really martin got to go gang ah the fan lot thank you very much for coming on to our streams i have turned on notifications so i can make more streams have fun chicho you too as well thank you for coming by okay vex no i left my job at the comic store a few months ago i miss it but the boss and i never saw eye to eye ah oh, okay that's unfortunate yeah but i'm pretty sure your comic shop is closed right i'm not sure if you want to work or not but i the comic shops here are closed by the way my comic shop like i haven't uh, I, diamond is not shipping out anyway right so all that is closed olive good morning or evening evening for me morning for you by the way olive i uploaded a video math video today okay and it answers your questions regarding differentiation i do an intro to calculus one okay taking a derivative of a polynomial function okay and i did that specifically to help you out on that the question that you had there's people that answered your question on discord on our math folder okay uh what you posted people said okay it's, uh, taking a derivative differentiation and stuff like this and they provided some answers and i did a little review of my calculus yesterday for like 15 minutes so it was a quick very general okay and we did the live stream yesterday for math answered a couple of questions regarding a couple of other things and i did a little intro for calculus okay calculus one that's the most i know right now on calculus i have to review a lot more before i can make more i hope it helps you out it's on bitshoot and youtube okay and welcome to our stream chicho what what would be a way i could explore investing in the cannabis industry without going to wall street stocks i don't know sleepy waves because it's not something i'm doing i'm just following certain companies stocks you could look into um I don't know what the legal status is in new york right if you know a local uh store uh you know that people want to get licensing they want to st start a bakery with that that is edibles and stuff like this look around keep your eyes open uh, i don't know 100 uh, percent someone wants to open up a cannabis cafe i think it's still illegal but at some point it will be legal right yeah the comic shops around me are all are all closed and yeah diamond is close too yeah yeah and i heard check this out vex i heard dc is going to look into um uh other company to be able to distribute their comics or 
look into other distribution methods other than diamond which is a fantastic thing right yes uh, I'm great thank you uh, Chicho uh, dapper says was curious if your community were aware the New York hospitals are empty uh, one thing that happens day per row I know there's a lot of videos and discussion going around that hospitals are empty this is what all hospitals did all hospitals stopped any surgeries any uh, treatments that that were scheduled to be had basically they emptied hospitals waiting for a wave of sick people to come through certain hospitals got overwhelmed certain hospitals haven't so don't just look at if hospitals are busy right now or not because they basically stopped accepting anyone okay so they could free beds okay a lot of hospitals went from functioning at 120 percent 150 percent 200 percent capacity down to 70 60 percent capacity to make room to deal with an influx right so don't buy into the propaganda that just because hospitals are empty okay there's no no nothing going on right don't attach your thoughts your way of uh, understanding what's going on to the world to one variable this isn't a one variable situation there's multiple things taking place and I hope I'm pretty sure I went down the right road in answering your question okay uh because i see people talking about this uh and uh, and i've seen this throughout my 30 years of being online like i've been online since late 1980s right i've been on many forums i've seen information come and go one of the mistakes that a lot of people do they attach themselves to one variable and say this is it it's never this is it a lot of people say oh the stock market collapsed because of COVID." no it didn't that was the excuse that was used to burst some of the bubbles so they could build it back up again okay period insane diamond is closed yeah no mobile phones no internet as such god i missed the past martin but just imagine martin grown up doing what we did because martin was around my age doing what we did with everybody having a camera and taking a picture of you when you're doing some of the dumbest things you could have not even imagined you're doing oh my god what insanity right what insanity i i'm so glad there's no footage of me a footage of video of me growing up okay cgc is going to be very backed up with grading books once everything goes back to normal yeah yeah so it might be a great time to pick up cgc books it'd be hard to hard to come by right chicho youtube no patience empty yeah oh that's great i'll check it out thank you awesome all of i hope you find it useful okay and if you have questions go to our discord on the math folder and a lot of people mask or raven or mask on discord uh and others have offered their help okay i think they'll be happy to help you because a lot of people have the same mentality as i do mathematics first period okay i won't post the link unless chicho wants to go down the angle i think we answered it i sort of went on a rant well what kind of a stocks are you following that i just want a starting point of companies uh, just do a sleepy waves uh there are so many there are so many you have to look at all of them some of them are valid some of them are not I haven't I'm just like I can't drop names because people buy stuff because I drop names don't do that you got to do your own research just look into it and follow them you don't have to buy right away sleepy waves there's so many of them pick 10 of them and watch them follow the news read tune into their live streams when they're doing their yearly quarterly financial reports right because people ask questions follow the management you got to dig down you got to dig down i'm feeling cannabis left out i tried it once but it didn't do anything for me oh martin if you ever come to bc come and pay me a visit brother whoa i didn't know that chicho diamond has a complete monopoly in the comics yeah 
I heard it anyway, uh, Spider Man. I heard one news thing and I was、uh, followed the chat a little bit, and it sounded fantastic. So I'm glad to hear your opinion on this. My pleasure, Martin.、Uh, Chicho has taught me never to commit myself to one style, to keep an open mind and everything. Now, I've learned from my mistakes, right, brother? Invest in, in vegetable seeds. Seeds is good, right? A lot of seed companies, a lot of like there, there, there are food companies in my area, right? That were taking orders online and they were one of the first places that closed their website saying, We, we can't take any more orders. We have to fulfill the orders that we have, right? So they didn't close because the government said they couldn't work. They closed because they were overwhelmed with the amount of orders they were getting. That's a good business to be in. Because once they can satisfy those customers, those customers are now, if they're providing good product, they're going to go back to that company. Wow, wow, wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Right? What a way to acquire clientele. Provide them healthy, good food from a local community. Wow, wow, wow. Good business model. Bitcoin's starting to head back、um, down in price again at the moment, by the way. I thought it was around 7,200. Did it go break 7,000 or 6,500? I follow a content creator that made a great point. Kids now are growing up with a number. Next to their name, yeah. How many likes, views, follows, messages they have makes them feel good and popular. They're portraying themselves to seem so cool to others or not, yeah. But what's happening is a lot of them are getting that, and then all of a sudden they're sick and tired of it and dropping. Done, right? I hope that continues. I've met a few people like that. The Matrix has them. Seeds remain viable for a few years only. You need to plant them, yeah. You could also freeze them. Community gardens are a good investment, also. Yes, agreed. Yes, it's 7K. Oh, wow. We're like two plus hours, gang. Let's call the stream, gang. Chicho, big fan. Stay safe, sir. Thank you very much. Via, v, Vida. Thank you very much, Vida. And I love your emotes. Cute. Vida, hi. Ah, nice. Vida, love. Ah, thank you very much for the love. What cute emotes. Also, super cute, super cute. <laughs> Love it. Thanks for popping in.、Uh, okay, gang, let's call the stream. Great, great discussion. Thank you for the stream. Have a good night till next time. Till next time. We'll be here tomorrow talking about education, two days from now talking about mental health, and then next Thursday, right?、Uh, we do, I forget what we do liqueur, fit, physical fitness, comic books. We'll see. Chicho can be my grandpa. Okay. I heard in Bulgarian, you, which language is called uncle? Amazing stream. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for coming. And、uh, Patreon, we're active on Patreon. Okay, gang. So if you want to follow this work, Patreon is a good place to follow the posts and stuff like this. If you have the means to support this work, Patreon is a great place to support this work. Okay. Fantastic place, place to support this work because. Uh, it's the biggest bang for your buck, okay. And I'll be active there more and more as time progresses. We are live streaming on this,、uh, live streaming on Twitch. So if you want to follow these things live, if you're watching this on another platform, okay, Twitch is where you want to be at. We're live streaming on Twitch, okay. And you can sub、uh, through Twitch Prime or Tier One, and that is a great way to support this project as well. We do announce these. Live streams and other information on Twitter, Gab's Mind, VK, and Elo. Okay, so you can follow the work there、uh, if you're so inclined, if you're active on those platforms. And the links will be in the description of this video. Okay, and we do post these videos on everything on BitChute and almost everything on YouTube right now. And if you're on YouTube, we just got approved for YouTube channel membership. and That is another great way to support this work if you do have the means. Okay. And we are at times of pandemics, and flattening the curve is a great way to make sure your healthcare system is not overloaded. So, just in case you need their help, okay, they will be able to help you out. They won't be overwhelmed and 
you can be taken care of right remember this line here boop that line right there is how much load your healthcare system can take you want to make sure you don't overwhelm your healthcare systems be kind to the healthcare workers to the cleaners to all the essential workers right that are there for you so you can stay home and think about things for a little while and consume information and be well take care of yourself right until the storm passes over okay aside from that gang taco operator good morning good evening we're calling a taco okay thank you for being here gang thank you for the discussions suggestions uh we will be here tomorrow and the next day next two days tomorrow at 8 30 p.m i think we're talking education um saturday i believe we're doing a 10 o'clock 10 to 12 we're talking about mental health and then we're next week we're going to do four streams and then i'll announce more okay aside from that good morning good evening i hope you're having a fantastic day or a fantastic night i'm in pdt pacific time zone west coast canada west coast Cal uh, united states california time basically okay gang okay goodbye guys goodbye peace everyone nice email with martin mr destructoid awesome see you guys tomorrow if you can make it and thank you very much for the mods for taking care of business bye olive